Hey guys, um, long time no talk. I'm here today to kind of update you guys on what's been going on with me. Um, I know it's been a really long time since you've seen a video from me and I'm just here to kind of explain what has prevented me from making videos. Even though back in January I did like promise that I would like get a stream of videos out for you guys and I'm totally sorry that that hasn't happened. But just things got in the way. This is probably going to be a pretty long video. A lot of it is going to be about me personally. So if you're not interested in that, well, then why are you here? There's been a lot, a lot of stuff happening in my life recently that have just kind of made it difficult for me to sit down and like really talk to you guys. Um, today I just came, I literally, I didn't put on any makeup, my eyebrows are a freaking mess, I need to pluck them, I didn't do my hair, nothing. I was just, I've been having like a bad week right now and I knew that I wouldn't want to like do myself up and I'm using that as an excuse to not make a video so I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm literally just going to look like trash and make an update video, who cares. Last time I talked to you guys was about, I think the end or the beginning of somewhere in January, right? Like I did like the end of the year tag. Um, and back then I was still working at Aldo, which is a shoe store, if you don't know. Basically like right after I made that video, I started just getting really stressed out at work. And every day I was coming in, I was like really like not having that place anymore. It was just, it was stressful, it was hard work. Um, I was often alone in that store, so I, and I wasn't like a manager or anything, I was just a key holder. So if anything did go wrong, there was tons of things that would always go wrong that I never knew how to fix. Um, because I'm not a manager and I don't like have the training that a manager does, so there would often be people that would come in and yell at me and like be angry at me and I couldn't fix their problems because I was never taught how. And not only was I just not taught how, but like I wasn't like allowed to have those like manager permissions to fix people's problems so I would have to call somebody and oftentimes no one would pick up no one would like be willing to help they'd just say like oh just deal with it yourself so that was just happening more and more often and for maybe about like two months I was just like I can't deal with this right now I I really hate this job and I basically just had a big breakdown in the store and I quit then about two weeks later, I, like I wasn't really stressed out at this point because I was still living at my mom's, um, which is the last time I talked to you, I was still at my mom's house. Um, so I just like, I had some savings, I had like $600 or something like that in my savings, so I was like, it's okay, I'm just gonna look for any, another job in the meantime, we can take it slow. So there was this one day where I walked to the local mall and I was getting the like some medications that I had and I just went to go visit one of my friends that worked at this grocery store. It was like a more like high-end grocery store, uh, like selling like gourmet things. So I just went in, I talked to her and I like told her what happened. I was like, yeah, I quit my job. It was like too stressful. And she was like, oh, like you can leave your resume here. Like we're always hiring people. And I was like, you know what? Like why not? So the next day I did end up bringing her my resume and I was like, you know, like if I get it, I get it. If not, whatever. I'm not stressed about it right now because it's only been like two weeks since I quit my job. Um, so I get in, I give her my, my resume and the manager happens to be in there. So the manager comes to talk to me and he's like, well, actually right now we don't have any positions at this particular store, but our sister store downtown is hiring for counter staff. So I was like, okay, like cool. And he's like, yeah, I'll send you there um, and you can have an interview. So I went down there basically in my mind thinking that I would be doing the same job as my friend who was working at the counter. So she was like cashing people out and she was making coffee, like there was a coffee machine right behind her. So I was thinking it was that like that kind of thing. So I get there and like I'm doing the interview and I'm answering the interview questions based on like what I think that I'm going to be doing because I did have like a lot of experience in a cafe so I was like answering questions like that. And like halfway through the the lady interviewing me is like, oh, like I'm not actually looking like for like counter staff. Like I'm looking for people to handle the, f like the food area. So I was like, okay. <laughs> um, and at this point, like, I guess I was like in too deep. Um, 
and so I just like went with it and she gave me the job so at it was basically like it like it was counter work but it wasn't like the type that I was expecting so it was basically like this buffet table area and we had to like put out all the food and like give people food and like that kind of thing and it was a lot more stressful than I was like imagining it to be because like there's a lot of heavy lifting there's a lot of just like like continuous I'm not sure how to explain it like you basically have to do the exact same thing every single day there's never like anything for you to solve there's anything ever anything like different for you to do it's like this happens at two this happens at three this happens at four like that kind of like like the same continuous rotation um and my friend was actually working back there a girl that I knew through the doll hobby so at first like it wasn't that bad it was like okay like it's boring but my friends there so that was about I think that was about like February March um, and so I've been working there for about a month and then um, I don't know like some things happened with my boyfriend where he was just fed up with his roommate and one day like he's just like he calls me and he starts like telling me like all the shit that his stupid roommate was doing and he was basically just like really fed up and I was like oh like you should just kick him out and like move me into there and he was like oh like that's actually a good idea like I never thought about that so we basically had decided me and him and also his other roommate like the good roommate um that we were gonna kick out the shitty roommate and move in my stuff and with what I was making at my job I basically was making enough to pay off that room which is the room that I'm in right now. So yeah, so I moved out of my mom's house and I moved into my boyfriend's apartment and I have my own space. This is basically like my toy room, as you can see. Um, so that's, that's happened in around March. So that took a little while and it was a bit of a difficult move because his old roommate did give us some problems when it came down to the actual moving day. And then we got here basically with all my stuff and uh, we found out that there's no, there's no like wood in the walls, so you can't actually drill into the walls and hang up any shelves. And so I was like, well fuck, like I have so much stuff, I literally can't put it away. So all of my stuff was basically sitting in the living room for about two weeks until him, my boyfriend's parents actually offered to buy us some shelves. So we needed some for the living room and then I got one for my room. They bought those for us. Um, so it basically took me like a month to fully get everything set up to like get my room looking how I wanted. Um, I have a big shelf here full of toys. You can't see it, but that like all the stuff that was on this shelf was basically on like these wall shelves that I could no longer put up. Um, these, if you're wondering, are actually stuck on with these, like, hooks. I forget what they're called. You can get them at, like, a hard, the, any hardware store or dollar store usually. Um, but they're not actually, like, drilled into the walls. They're just sitting on these, like, hooks that stick to the wall. That took a lot of my energy, and uh, that was making me really frustrated because I, I didn't, like, have my space. I didn't have all my things set up. So I couldn't really, like, sit down and, like, talk to you guys because my room was, like chaotic and I just wanted that to be over okay so by the end of March I was fully moved in so then what what is it now July so April May June July what happened in those three months so basically for that entire time I was I was working at this grocery store um, and like like I said the first month was like it was okay but like between dealing with my housing situation um, and like my new job, I didn't like have time to talk to you. So after that is actually when it started to get a little bit stressful. So for maybe I think the entirety of April and a little bit of May, um, we had quite a few people leave our work. So I was working like a lot. I was working like almost 40 hours some weeks um and for those of you that don't know it's really hard for me to work that much because i do 
have um, a lot of health problems. I have talked about them a little bit about on my channel. I do get sick very often because of a condition that I was born with. So I can't really work like a normal person. I do have to have shorter hours, but I didn't really have a choice at this point because A, I needed the money and B, like there was literally no one else to work. So they were scheduling me a lot. Then as soon as they hired someone else, basically they completely cut down on the hours and I was getting like nothing. And I was like, well, I was kind of pissed at that point because I, you know, I'd worked so much for them. And it's of course, it's like one of those situations where like the second they don't need you, they're not even, they're not going to do you any favors. They're not even going to give you like enough that you can pay your rent. So I was getting really like pissy. So I basically talked to some of the other managers in that store and I asked if I could work in their departments. So a couple of them said yes. And I got trained to do the counter work that I had originally applied for which was like the front cashier where you do like cash and then there's like coffee. So that's what I was used to. And in the first place, that's what I wanted to do. And that's what I was expecting the job would be. So I worked half in the cafe slash cash area and then half back in the back of the store where that like food table was. So I was working maybe like 25, 30 hours, which um, is okay for me. Like that's sort of the balance of between being able to pay my bills and not getting insanely sick. Um, but it was around that time that I started having problems. Um, and I'm not gonna go too much into detail just cause I really don't wanna talk about it. But basically one of the older chefs in the back, like because because this is a gourmet kitchen, like a lot of the food is made in-house. So there's chefs that work in the back. So one of the chefs was actually like sexually harassing me. Um, and I'm giggling because it just, it makes me so like uncomfortable and nervous to talk about that that's really the only way that I can deal with it. It's like, haha, yep, I was like literally sexually harassed, hilarious. So while it was happening, uh, believe me, I wasn't laughing. Um, so that went on for quite a few months. So I was working basically like 30 hours, which doesn't sound like a lot to you, but to me it's quite a lot, especially like the hours, like the times that I was working. So my work was basically two hours away from my house. And usually my shifts would start in the afternoon and I would get off at eight and then I would get home and I would get home till like 10. So basically like two hours later, I have to go to bed and then wake up and it was, it's basically like work in, work out. Like I literally had no time to like sit down, even like have dinner with my boyfriend and relax. So between that and like all the shit that was happening, um, and it wasn't just like that one chef, like all the chefs in that kitchen were just insanely like inappropriate towards females and just in general they were inappropriate the hours were stressing me out the co-workers were stressing me out the customers oh my god don't even fucking get me started on them because rich people are just like the most privileged pricks ever they just think that life should be handed to them on a silver plate so it was getting stressful in those terms as well so then i basically just i had it and i quit that job as well and this was like three weeks ago now. And then basically right after we, I quit my job, we went to New Orleans with my boyfriend's family for about a week, just as like a little mini vacation. That's where I've been. That's where I've been for the past like half a year. Um, and so there's just been a lot of shit happening and I haven't really been very interested in my hobbies which is sad and especially bjds because now that i'm having to worry about paying for my living situation i haven't really had very much disposable income to work on these guys and also in between then i found like a few more hobbies i've actually started collecting vintage toys a lot more because they are relatively cheaper than these guys and I also have started to delve into Lolita which is something that I've wanted to do for a very very long time probably as long as I've wanted to be into BJDs but I've just never had like the confidence to do it <laughs> um 
So I finally, like, after I left my mom's place, I just was like, you know what, I've wanted to do this for so long, I really want to get into it. So I did. So that's kind of what I've been, like, focusing on, and I've wanted to make video about videos about those topics, but I haven't. And the main reason I haven't is because I'm not entirely sure if I want to do them on this channel or if I want to start a new channel. Because on the one hand, this channel is very much, like, BJD focused. But on the other hand, like, it's my channel, and it's it's about me and my hobbies, it's not like their channel, you know what I mean? And, um, and I, I say that, but then at the same time, like, any time I do a video that isn't completely focused on BJDs, it gets, like, no views. So that kind of gets a little bit discouraging when people just don't want to actually be here for me, they just, like, care about my dolls. So, you know... And, like, maybe if I branch out and I start doing other things, I will get, like, other viewers, but right now, like, with all the shit that was happening in my life, I just didn't have, I didn't have, like, the courage to start something new like that, um, but I am really interested in doing something along those lines, like, branching out, doing little videos, doing toy videos, doing just, like, general life videos, um, I have just been wanting to do that kind of stuff for a really long time so you might be seeing more of that kind of stuff on my channel in the weeks to come um, so yeah right now I don't have a job I'm looking for one um, I'm basically just chilling until I find something hopefully that'll be soon because I don't really have anything to pay for my room right now so getting a little bit stressed but it's okay it's not that difficult to find a job in toronto um i feel bad for people that are in the states that lose their job because i know how difficult it is yeah like as much as i want to do bjd videos like i'm still not really in a place where i can like financially like do anything with these guys so um i am probably going to start doing thing videos about other things um and I, I do still have like this big giant list of videos that I want to do concerning my dolls that were suggestions from you guys like a really long time ago. And I do still intend on doing that at some point. Um, another reason that I have, and this is going to sound like a silly one, but another reason why I haven't really done anything, um, any filming is because it's really hot here. And I have an AC, but it's only in the other room in the bedroom that we sleep in. So I don't have any AC in this room in particular, and it gets so fucking hot here. Like the last, like t two weeks ago, we had like a heat wave. I'm sure that you've experienced it if you live in the States in Southern Ontario you know that it was fucking hot. It was like 35 degrees some days. So I was literally like trapped in my room that entire time and I didn't really feel like coming out and making videos. So yeah. Yeah, that's basically my life update. Um, I know that's kind of depressing, but just in case you're wondering where I was, that's where I was. I was struggling and suffering for like half a year. Yay. But I'm, I'm okay now. Like for anybody wondering I'm I'm good <laughs> like I'm not I'm not like scarred or anything and I'm not like anxious about any of that stuff like I'm over it now but um, it was it was hard to deal with while it was happening but now that it's over I really just want to like move forward and forget about all that crap and just like find a new job get a steady income work on my hobbies so, yeah. Um, anyway, look at this. I literally look like fucking Ringo Starr right now. I'm, I'm Ringo, but he told us. Um, so I, maybe I can do something with my hair and do my eyebrows and then come back and do a proper video, which is going to be showing you all the things that I got from Anime North, which I went to this year and I went with my boyfriend. And I basically hung out with my boyfriend and my sister and my really good friend Bella, like the entire time that we were there. So we had a whole lot of fun. Uh, 
It was probably one of the better years, actually. Like, I did a lot of things that I wanted to do, and my boyfriend was there, and it was his first Anime North ever, so I got to, like, experience, like, that first, like, con wonder in his eyes, and it was great. So I do want to come back and, like, talk to you guys a little bit about that, uh, even though it's been, it's been, like, a month and a half since Anime North, so it was over quite a while ago. But I, I do want to like just talk about it just because I didn't when it was um, happening. So I, I just want to tell you guys about it and show you all the like doll things and other things that I got that con. So yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for dealing with my stupid hair for the past half hour and watching this video. Again, I'm really sorry that I haven't been making videos, but sometimes life just gets in the way. Um, but yeah, so thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I will be back later this week or even later today. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye!